In today's class, we will try and understand what is risk management. The first thing that comes to our mind is what is risk. The risk can be defined as the probability that an undesirable event will occur and also an assessment of the expected loss. Aim of most of the organization is thus to identify the risk it might face and also to evaluate the losses that it might incur. They select and use the most appropriate tool to minimize the risk process. Thus, if we try and look at the risk management process in any organization, it comprises of five steps, which includes, first of all, to identify the risk, then later on to evaluate frequency and severity of losses, then to choose the best risk management methods, then implementing the chosen method, and lastly, to monitor the performance and suitability of the selected method. There are various types of risks which an organization faces. So we'll try and understand these risks one by one. The first is the buyer's or importer's insolvency risk, also known as credit risk. This type of risk is on the exporter when the importer fails to make payment for the goods or services provided by the exporter as per the terms and conditions of the agreement. Buyers or importers acceptance risk. Exporter faces this risk due to non-payment of goods and services by the importer. The exporter has to look for options to dispose of the goods by offering goods to the same importer at a discount or searching for another importer. Knowledge inadequacy risk. At times, both importer and exporter are exposed to risk of business failure when they enter a market with inadequate knowledge about the market conditions. Sellers or exporters performance risk. In this case, importer is at a risk when the exporter is not able to supply goods as per the contract or the terms and conditions of the letter of credit. Next is documentation risk. When exporter do not fulfill the specific documentation requirement, as for the sales contract or letter of credit, he faces non-payment risk or risk of payment getting delayed. Economic risk. Due to unfavorable economic conditions in exporter or importer's country, they might not be able to fulfill their obligations as per the contract or letter of credit. Under such circumstances, importer might not accept the goods or make payment for the goods and services received by him. Whereas, uh, whereas exporter might not be able to produce or export goods due to unfavorable economic conditions. Cultural risk. Due to lack of cultural knowledge, exporter importer might face risk of business failure in the overseas market. Legal risk. Changes in regulation in a country might also lead to financial losses. For example, if a country comes up with foreign exchange regulations, the importer might not be able to release payment to the exporter. Foreign exchange risk. Fluctuations in exchange rate will also have an impact on the payment to be made by the importer or the payment received by the exporter. Interest rate risk. Changes in interest rate will also have an impact on the cost of capital for the importer and the exporter. They might have to pay high interest on the loan availed for carrying out the business activities. Lastly, political or sovereign risk, changes in fiscal, monetary, foreign trade policies of the country might also expose importer and exporter to the political or the sovereign risk. And lastly is the transit risk. After the goods leave the exporter's premises, until the time goods finally reach the importer, they are exposed to loss, damage, theft while goods are in. Thank you.